हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई मंचल श्रीवास्तव फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल फोटो लिमिनेसेंस स्पेक्ट्रा विच इज़ कॉल्ड पी एल स्पेक्ट्रा अंडर द पेपर नैनो साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू लर्न फ्यू बेसिक आइडियाज अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम एंड लिमिनेसेंस प्रॉपर्टीज दे विल ऑल्सो नो फोटो लिमिनेसेंस एंड इस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दे विल एबल टू नो द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल वट कैन बी मेजर्ड ऑफ ए फोटो लिमिनेसेंस सब्सटेंस दे विल ऑल्सो नो अबाउट पी एल स्पेक्ट्रम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशन एंड एडवांटेज ऑफ फोटो लिमिनेसेंस a hot body that emits radiation solely because of its high temperature it said to exhibit incandescence all other form of light emit are called luminescence when luminescence occurs the system loses energy and if the emission is to be continue continuous some form of energy must be supplied from elsewhere Thus, the radio luminescence emits from luminous clock face is supplied by high energy particles from the radioactive material in phosphor, and the electroluminescence of a gas discharge lamp is derived from the passage of an electric current through an ionized gas. Other such phenomena. include chemical luminescence derived from the energy of a chemical reaction and this is called bioluminescence when the reaction takes place within living organism for example glowing worm and fireflies the phenomena which involves absorption of energy and subsequent emission of light are classified generically under the term luminescence phosphors are luminescent material that emit light when excited by radiation and are usually microcrystalline powder or thin film designed to provide visible color emission after decades of research and development thousand of phosphors has been prepared and some of them are widely used in many areas excitation by absorbance of a photon lead to a major class of technically important luminescent species which flor fluoresce or phosphoresce in general fluorescence is fast in nano second time scale while phosphorescence is slow longer time up to hours or even up to days for convenience the topic of photoluminescence will be broadly divided into that based on re relatively large scale inorganic material mainly exhibiting phosphorescence and that of a small dye molecule or a small particle inorganic nanomaterials which can either fluoresce or phosphoresce this application differs for many of the derived technical application it is irrelevant whether the luminescence is fluorescence or phosphorescence either either the way the current range of application is extensive and in one case has been recognized by the award of nobel prize in 2008 electromagnetic spectrum which i have already discussed in uv visible spectroscopy module the molecular spectroscopy is the study of the interaction of electromagnetic waves and matter velocity but characteristically differ from each other in terms of frequency and wavelength the propagation of these radiation involves both electric and magnetic forces which gives rise to their 
common class name electromagnetic radiation. In spectroscopy, only the effects associated with the electric component, because this is stronger, of electromagnetic waves are important. The electromagnetic spectrum is arbitrarily divided into many regions, and it is clear that the familiar UV vis portion of the spectrum is from 390 to 750 nanometer constitute only a small section of full spectrum. This visible region is flanked by the higher energy ultraviolet, UV and lower energy infrared and microwave regions. These frequency ranges are the most widely used in spectroscopic measurements as they can each provide pre structure insight into analyte molecule. The microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum is associated with rotational spectroscopy, while the UV and visible portion correspond to molecular electronic transitions. The IR region, which is typically broken into near, mid, and far IR, is utilized in vibrational spectroscopy as the frequencies of radiation therein correspond to molecular vibration. Photoluminescence Photoluminescence spectroscopy is a contactless non-destructive method of probing the electronic structure of materials. Light is directed onto a sample where it is absorbed and impart excess energy into the material in a process called photo excitations. One way this excess energy can be dissipated by the sample is through the emission of light or luminescence. In the case of photo excitation, this luminescence is called photoluminescence. It derives its energy from the absorption of light energy, most commonly in the wavelength range of infrared, ultraviolet or visible light. Photoluminescence is further divided into the category of fluorescence and delayed fluorescence and phosphorescence. Today, they are defined via the emission based quantum mechanical mechanism for the orbital angular momentum multiplicity of the emitted electron. For example, the singlet or triplet excited state. However, before the advent of quantum theory, photoluminescence was defined solely on the basis of empirical evaluation of the duration of emissive lifetime. There are two kinds of PL. The first one is fluorescence. It is defined as a photoluminescence emission that arises singlet electronic state to the human eyes. Fluorescence is observed only when the exciting light source shine on the radiator. The second one, phosphorescence. It is defined as a photoluminescence process that originates from the triplet electronic state. Emissions from the triplet state are from 10 to 10,000 times longer than fluorescence. Therefore, to the eye, these radiation appears to emit after the excitation radiation is removed. Let us learn the important characteristics of photoluminescence. Photoluminescence substance has its own excitation and emission spectra. The photoluminescence emission of a substance is always at a higher wavelength than the light used to excite the substance. This is called a stoke shift phenomena. The intensity of photoluminescence is proportional to its absorption, which in turn 
is proportional to the excitation light. The photoluminescence of the substance is sensitive to many factors and will change or even disappear under different condition. What can be measured of photoluminescence substance? The photoluminescence intensity abbreviated as PL is a light emission from any form of matter after the absorption of photons, electromagnetic radiation. It is attention which is called excitation by photons. Excitation spectra. The, the emission maximum is chosen and only the emission light at that wavelength is allowed to pass to the detector. Excitation is induced usually by means of monochromator. At various excitation wavelength and the intensity of the emitted fluorescence is measured as a function of wavelength. Emission spectra. Let us talk about emission spectra. The emission spectra of a chemical element or chemical compound is a spectrum of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation emitted due to an atom or molecule making a transition from high energy state to lower energy state. Photoluminescence lifetime. The, radio, the radiative emission of light from the molecules after excitation has multi-parameter nature. The objective of measurement is therefore to gain information concerning as many parameters as possible. A steady state measurement of fluorescent emission intensity versus wavelength gives an average and also relative representation. The fluorescence lifetime gives an absolute independent of concentration measurement and allowed a dynamic picture of the fluorescence to be obtained. Factor that explains the appeal of this form of measurement. Anisotropy and polarization. The fluorescence anisotropy is a measure of how flow effectively a probe molecule can depolarize. Plain polarized light excitation light during the interval between absorption of the polarized light and subsequent emission of fluorescence. Time-based photoluminescent intensity. Time-reserved photoluminescence TRPL is an experimental technique that provides the spectral and temporal evolution of the emission of a sample following its illumination by a short pulse of light. More precisely, the short pulse of light generates electron hole pair that decay to lower energy levels of the samples. This electron hole pair can subsequently recombine and emit light. The emitted light is composed of a set of wavelength corresponding to the transition energies of the sample and as a result, the measurement of the optical spectrum as a function of time provides a mean to measure the transition energy and their lifetime. Time based photoluminescence lifetime. Let us discuss the construction and working principle of PL. A schematic diagram of the PL measurement setup used in this work is shown in figure. The sample is located in a closed cycle helium cryostat in which the temperature can be varied between 9 Kelvin and room temperature. An argon ion laser wavelength 488 nanometer and 514 nanometer are frequency doubled ND YAG neodymium doped yttrium orthovenidate laser with 532 nanometer is used for excitation. The full width at high maximum of the intensity distribution of the focused laser beam on the sample surface is typically 100 micrometer. 
The luminescence is collected and focused with two lenses into a 0.5 mm monochromator. A liquid nitrogen cooled germanium pin diode is used as a detector. The standard lock in technique is used to improve the signal noise ratio of the detector. A computer with an AD converter is used to control the monochromator and collect the measurement data. The PL spectra. Maximum wavelength of a fluorescence spectrum is slightly shifted to longer wavelength compared to the maximum wavelength of the absorbance spectrum. This is known as frank candent principle. Phosphorescence and fluorescence, which is the emission spectrum, both come at longer wavelength compared to absorbance spectrum of the same molecule. This is stroke shift. Fluorescence spectrum of a molecule is more or less similar to its absorbance spectrum. Fluorescence comes at lower energy at longer wavelength than fluorescence from the same molecule. The electronic transition. As energy level diagram in figure can illustrate the radiative and non-radiative transition that lead to the observation of molecular photoluminescence. The spin multiplicity of a given electronic state can either a singlet paired electron or a triplet unpaired electrons. The ground electronic state is normally a singlet state and is designed designated as S0. Excited electronic state are either singlet which is S1 or S2 or triplet T1 state. When the molecule absorbs light an electron is promoted within 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 11 second from the ground electronic state to an excited state that possesses the same spin multiplicity as the ground state. This include a triplet excited state as the final state of electronic absorption because the selection rule for electronic transition dictates the spin state should be maintained upon excitation. A excess of radiative or non-radiative processes usually occur following the absorption light route to observation of molecular luminescence. Non-radiative relaxation processes are many which we are going to discuss one by one. The first one is vibrational relaxation. Excitation usually occur to higher vibrational level of the target excited state. The excited molecules normally relax rapidly to the lowest vibrational level of the excited electronic state. These non-radiative processes are called vibrational relaxation. It occurs within 10 to the power minus 14 to 10 to the power minus 12 second, a time much shorter than the typical luminescence lifetime. So, such process occur prior to luminescence. Let us talk the second non-radiative relaxation process which is internal conversion. If the molecule is excited to a higher energy excited singlet state than S1, a rapid non-radiative relaxation usually occurs to the lowest energy singlet excited state S1. Relaxation processes between electronic state of like spin multiplicity such as S1 and S2 are called internal conversion. It normally occur on a time scale of 10 to the power minus 
12 second. Let us talk the third non radiative relaxation process, which is called intersystem crossing. Non radiative relaxation process can also occur between excited state of different spin multiplicity. Such relaxation process is known as intersystem crossing. The relaxation from S1 to T1 in figure is an example of inter-system crossing. The fourth one is non-radiative de-excitation. The above mentioned non-radiative process occurs very rapidly and releases a small amount of energy. The rest of the energy is dis dissipated either radiatively by emission of photons or non-radiatively by the release of thermal energy. The non-radiative decay of excitation energy which lead to the decay of excited molecules to the ground electronic state is called non-radiative de-excitation. The amount of energy released in the form of heat is very small and cannot be measured experimentally. The evidence for non-radiative de-excitation process is the quenching of luminescence. In solid state luminescence material, the crystal vibrates provides the mechanism for non-radiative de-excitation. These crystal vibrations are known as phonons. Radiative processes of fluorescence and phosphorescence. These are radiative in nature. So let us discuss fluorescence first. Fluorescence refers to the emission of light associated with a radiative transition from an excited electronic state that has the same spin multiplicity as the ground electronic state. The radiative transition S1 to S0 in figure represents fluorescence. Since fluorescence transitions are spin allowed, they occur very rapidly and average lifetime of excited state responsible are typically less than 10 to the power minus 6 second. Electronic transition between states of different spin multiplicity are spin forbidden. However, it becomes more probable when a spin orbital coupling increases. The net result of a spin orbital coupling is the mixing of excited singlet and triplet states. This mixing removes the spin forbidden nature of the transition between pure singlet and pure triplet states. Therefore, if the inter-system crossing populates the triplet excited state, then luminescence might occur from the triplet state to the ground state. Phosphorescence referred to the emission of light associated with a radiative transition from the electronic state that has a different spin multiplicity from that of ground electronic state. The radiative transition T1 to S0 in figure represents the phosphorescence. Since phosphorescence transitions are spin forbidden, then occur slowly and so the average lifetime for such emission typically ranges from 10 to the power minus 6 to several seconds. Phosphorescence is known as delayed fluorescence. The absorbance, excitation and emission spectra. Emission spectra are measured by holding excitation radiation fixed lambda excitation at one particular wavelength and scanning through the emitted radiation. This is known as emission spectra. Excitation spectra are measured by varying excitation wavelength and measuring emitted light at one particular wavelength. 
lambda em the graph shows excitation intensity versus excitation wavelength because the first step in generating fluorescence is the absorption of radiation to create excited state an excitation spectrum is especially identical to an absorbance spectra taken under the same condition let us talk the advantages of using pl this technique is very sensitive it allows to measure very small amount of substance in a given sample it allows to measure very small changes it also allows to track conformational changes it is very very safe it is very very fast it is cost effective non destructive it is widely used in every research so student let us now summarize what we have learned in this module when a molecule absorb light it promoted to an excited state from which it may return to the ground state by radiation less process or by fluorescent singlet to singlet or a phosphorescence triplet to singlet emission any form of luminescence is potentially useful in quantitative analysis because emission intensity is proportional to the sample concentration at low concentration and excitation spectrum a graph of excitation intensity versus excitation wavelength is similar to an absorption spectrum a graph of absorbance versus wavelength a emission spectrum is observed at lower energy than the absorption spectrum due to the stoke shift and frank condent principle a molecule that is not fluorescent can be analyzed by attaching a fluorescent group to it which is fluorophore so this is all about pl thank you very much